Time to celebrate the winners of La Vuelta. Richie Carapaz came home on stage 20 for another stage win and a polka dot jersey. But our overall winner, as the tears flowed, Remco Evenepoel. First Belgian in 44 years to have taken a Grand Tour win. Maybe this is the opening of floodgates we shall see. Spectacular performance by the youngster. Two minutes and five his margin at the beginning of the day over Enric Mas. Well, all the bikes badged up. They're all in the right colours as well. Green, of course, for Mas Pedersen. And would it be another stage win for him? Ecuadorian and South American fans were filling the air with their cheers. And indeed, there was an acknowledgement as well of a passing of the baton. So there, congratulating Alejandro Valverde and of course Vincenzo Nibali. This, their final Grand Tour and a guard of honour from the peloton at the beginning of the day. Well, we all knew what lay ahead. A reasonably benign start before the sprinters would have their fun on a three-legged star at the end of the day in Madrid. Quite a technical course with an intermediate sprint along the way, just in case anyone was out there hunting for bonus seconds. Riders like Aronsman and of course Carlos Rodriguez, perhaps. Well, we had all of the usual celebrations. Remco Evenepoel with his quick step team, full of smiles. But then the serious faces started to arrive. Not before Alejandro Valverde had taken a lap of honour through Madrid, saying thank you to the fans who thanked him right back. And then the serious business of finishing off this race began. Well, it got busy. And first of all, with the second passage of the start-finish line for the intermediate sprint. Enric Mass, in fact, getting up to take points here. And bonus seconds. Ansman and Rodriguez were the ones hunting, though. Rodriguez from Ines Grenadiers just hoping to find a couple of seconds over Ansman, but it was not to be. What was to be was a very feisty challenge by a couple of breakaway riders, and very talented they were too. Julius Johansson from Intermarche Wanty went off the front with Luke Plapp as well from Ines Grenadiers. And in fact, they dangled out there like a carrot teasing the peloton. As the laps were counted down, we finally got to the bell and they were still out front. A modest margin, perhaps, were, with technical corners to deal with, they weren't to be caught until the sight of the Flam Rouge. Platt was loving it, just smiling to the crowd. No smiles, of course, on the faces of the sprinters as they lit it up in that final turn. Who would be first to go? That was the big question. Well, it was a fine drive from distance from UAE Team Emirates. Ivo Oliveira did the setup. It was supposed to be finished off by Milano, handing to Ackerman. But Milano just had to keep driving. Why? Because Mas Pedersen was on his case. And in the end, it was almost an accidental win for Juan Sebastian Milano. Had to keep going, Mas Pedersen finishing second. Pascal Ackerman third. Well, it may not have been the way the script was supposed to play out, but Milano just enthralling the Colombian fans, many of whom, of course, had turned up here to see their heroes. Punch of the air for Marc Soler, the man who took the overall combativity award. Milano winning the day ahead of Pedersen and Ackerman. Turnus and Van Poppel rounding out the top five. And, of course, finally the coronation of our champion, Remco Evenepoel. Amongst his teammates, the celebrations loud and proud. Evenepoel wins the race by two minutes and two over Enric Maas, who picked up bonus seconds in today's sprint. The intermediate. A year or so, finishing four minutes and 57 down. Two Spaniards on the podium, boding well for the future of Spanish cycling. There can only be one winner, and that winner is, of course, Remco Evenepoel. In the points jersey, Mas Pedersen, winning by an enormous margin. 
and of course the king of the mountain and one of the most popular winners of any of the jerseys Richard Carapaz three stage wins to his name and the future well it's for the youngsters isn't it and the youngest overall combativity going to Mark Soler and his team UE Team Emirates taking the overall team prize a magnificent race drawing to a close in Madrid. <laughs>